Hello everyone and welcome back. This is a video that's a long time coming. Today I'm going to be talking about my response, my reflections of my video that I posted six months ago about how I got kicked out of two comic book shops in an hour. This is something that I probably should have made sooner rather than later. I'm going to talk about a few things in this video about why I didn't and um, you guys can make the judge of everything. So when I first made that video, I, I made that video entirely way too soon after it happened. And when I made that video, I, you can obviously tell by my tone, how I was acting. I was still mad. I was still angry. And uh, that is never a good time to make a video like that. So before I even posted that video, I showed that to like my wife and my family because I knew I knew it was going to get a response. Um, <laughs> I knew it, I, I, and I knew it was probably going to be pretty negative. But I didn't realize it was going to be that bad. That video has become one of the most popular videos on my channel. I'm thinking about that video as uh, a legacy situation. So what I mean by that is I've recently had someone very close to me, somebody in my family, pass away. And um, as many of you guys know, I have a, a daughter now, a little goose. And this little YouTube channel has been fun. It's been enjoyable. But let's just say what this is. It, it is a little video diary for all intents and purposes of how I was feeling at a certain period of time or how I'm feeling now or whatever the case may be. And, and many of you guys that have YouTube channels or Instagrams or whatever, you, you might not realize it, but you're making a little diary of what you are at that moment. You're probably figuring out where I'm going with this, but it's just, is that how I want to be remembered? Is that how I want my family, my daughter, and I'm talking as Daniel. I'm not talking as Sticky Goose. I'm not talking as this person you watch on the internet. I'm talking about me, Daniel. Is that how I want to be remembered? And, and the answer is no. I, I messed up that day. Like I made a mistake. I did not make the right decision. And uh, regardless of whether or not I should have done it or it was deserved or, you know, the guy was an asshole or whatever. It doesn't matter. I should have been better that day. And what I mean by that is you guys have given me an opportunity to have a platform and you, you listen, you, you listen to me, you watch my videos, you like, you subscribe, you comment, you support me. And I feel like I have betrayed your trust because I have not been a good steward of the community and of the hobby. And like it or not, when I'm in the position that I am where I have people listening to me and I am a fan of the hobby and I support the hobby, I am a reflection of that hobby just as we all are as collectors and when we go to these places we need to to show ourselves well and that that starts with me and i i realized that and i've learned that i made mistakes that day that i i should have been better now regardless of whether or not you think that he's a jerk you know he's an asshole that deserves um you know what what he got i mean that that doesn't matter i i've been raised better than that i know better than that i i know to treat people better than that but i let my ego take over and i'm just going to kind of walk you guys through what what i actually was thinking as all of this was transpiring and you guys can make the decision of how to judge me because of that. But when I walked through that door, I 
I had a book bag on of those those slabs that I was selling or trying to trade for other things. And uh, when I was stopping there at the door, I was, I was asking, I came in, I asked him, I said, can I bring my book bag in? Because the the door said no, no book bags. And he said yes. And I came in and, and I showed him what I had. And in that moment, he totally disrespected what I brought in. He he looked at it as garbage, as CGC, uh, trash, um, and uh, as a desecration of comic books for grading them. It was it was just a whole thing where I felt like the books that I had put money in, time in, to have graded, to have collected, to have found, he just wrote them off as as trash. So I felt disrespected. And if you know me from my videos or in real life, you know, if I feel like I've been disrespected like that, I act out. I don't act in the way that I should or I normally do, which led me to what happened next where I tried to sell another gentleman in that store what I had. And um, I didn't do that for like drama or clicks or anything with the channel. That was all me feeling uh, disrespected, entitled that I should be able to sell these books, th that these books are important, that somebody should want these, and I'm going to find the next person uh, to do it. And I'm going to do it right here in front of you to disrespect you. So that, that was the mindset, which is so immature and so stupid. I mean, to come into somebody's shop, come into somebody's house like that and, and do something that disrespectful is not good. I mean, that's, that's not, <laughs> what you want to be doing and, and I realized that I mean in the time at the time I was so hot so heated I mean I, I I just didn't care so when all that happened I I I turned the camera off immediately because it was it, and a lot of people have said well we don't we don't know what really happened we didn't show the whole thing well that is what happened I turned the camera off because I just wanted it to end when that all happened. I wanted it to be over. I knew as soon as it happened, I messed up. I shouldn't have done that. I turned the camera off because the video was over. I didn't want to do any more filming. I didn't want to do anything because this was bad. This was not good. Um, I, I didn't want to happen. So I chose to betray uh, the trust of my subscribers, followers again, viewers again, by threatening to blast the, him on YouTube, to post this on YouTube, um, using my influence, using my little bit of power to um, threaten him to make a fool of him in that shop. So, I mean, it was a I mean, it was a terrible decision. I, I, I betrayed myself and the trust that you guys have given me for doing something that childish and immature. Regardless of whether or not he deserves it, um, I did that, and uh, I should have been better in that moment. Now, when all that happened and transpired, you know, and everybody saw it, all the 75 or close to 75,000 people that saw it, that became many people's first impression of me, Sticky Goose, but of Daniel. And that is just, is so disappointing. It's so sad that that is how so many people are coming or finding me or seeing me. And it, it led to, you know, I mean, people made videos, uh, reaction videos. People made 
um, videos of there, there was a guy that actually went to the same shop to see if he got kicked out too. There were CGC message boards, all these big threads of these guys, you know, picking it apart, bashing me, and 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 all of it deserved for the most part. Um, and even in the comments, as as the video has continued to be uploaded, I mean, it hasn't been taken down, and all the comments are still there. It's like everybody has become this like ethical paragon of, you know, being the ones to say, hey, you did this wrong. When in the whole time, I knew I did something wrong. I mean, I knew that what I did was not, was so disrespectful but it was like it was like a a community saying, "Hey, f you, um, we're all gonna pile on." And in in a famous parable, you know, uh, those without sin be the first to cast the first the first stone. And trust me, I've thrown plenty of stones. I have, um, you know, called BS out when I see it. Going into a shop and saying it's a dump when it is, I mean, that it is what it is. But to go in there and disrespect somebody's shop like that by doing what I did, that's totally different. And I'm not going to do that ever again. This video has gotten to the point where it is being recommended to people of all collecting hobbies and all walks of life seemingly and when people see it and that is their first impression of me so many people have disliked this I mean this is the most disliked video on my channel it's not even close um, I think there's like 700 dislikes to 1200 likes the video has gotten me 450 new subscribers people have chosen whether that be to just see the garbage truck on fire, how it continues, and watching me, uh, I'm assuming, continue to be an idiot, or how if people have actually liked the, the, the content and want to see more. Regardless, we had 50, 450 new people come on board because of that video. So likely that video will be the biggest video on my channel, which... It's disappointing. I mean, it's it's great that it's a big video, but it's disappointing that that is how people see me, and and, and is going to be so many people's first impression. But I have no plans of taking it down, um, or taking the comments down. It it is what it is. I mean, I have been completely authentic and transparent this whole way. I'm not hiding anything. This is not, you know, I'm not playing smoke and mirrors. There's no hidden game or agenda. I'm trying to make interesting, engaging content that you guys enjoy and at the same time being honest and forthcoming and transparent about everything that's happened so far. You know, I hope that uh, people watch this video because I I don't want that to be my legacy. I don't want this to this bad decision this this lapse of judgment this this uh, this thing where my ego took over in that moment to be what defines me um and i don't i don't think it will long term but it is a situation where so many people will see that as their first impression of me and first impressions are everything and uh i just want to make myself proud, my family proud, my daughter proud, and to look back on a body of work or whatever it is and say, hey, I'm proud of this. I'm proud of what I did. I'm proud of the decisions I made. Not to look back on it with regret of mistakes and ego taking over. That's not what I want. That's not how I want to be remembered. That's not what kind of mark I want to put out into the world because every single day we make decisions and whether they be positive or negative, good or evil, helpful or hurtful, 
you know, that is the ripple effect. That is how we are imp impacting the world. And that is how you will be remembered. So, guys, I, I thank you guys for supporting me and continuing to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Take care.